And just like that, we are back in the messiest garage in the world. So, I uh, showed you guys in the last episode, uh, starting to wrap the car. It's about, I would say, 75% done. Uh, all I need to do today to finish it up is the door. I just got that door on by myself. Congrats to me. That was pretty hardcore. But I got my good old jack right there and it helped me get it pretty good. I think the fitment's pretty good. Windows pinned up against there. Close is pretty good. But like I was saying, uh, the things that I need to do today is wrap this door, uh, wrap the side skirts, wrap the mirrors, wrap the bumpers. We got a lot to do, so I'm gonna set up the tripod and I'm gonna bang out this door as fast as possible. Still gotta disassemble it. Like I said, I just got it on, so gotta pull off these little rubber tabs and then, yeah, get the door handle out, get the mirror off. camera died but the door is done also my heat gun broke and that's my second heat gun those things suck but they're only 15 bucks so still got to heat the edges and everything but she looks really good the new door did wonders it would have been so bad if I would have wrapped the crumped up door I'm so happy I got this door got the Ferno 300 this is a lot smaller than my other heat gun but hopefully it does the job it's a little bit more expensive but yeah, what better way to put these to test? Trying out the mirrors. So I was thinking I could do these in one piece, but now that I'm looking at them more, I think I'm gonna do this back section in a separate piece. So I'm just gonna do, yeah, I'm just gonna do this top piece. Uh, we'll see, I'm gonna try it. I had to do two pieces so I did this one big stretch and then on the back here I did a inlay you can see the line right there probably should have brought that in a little bit lower you can see a piece of black right there but you won't be able to see that because that's facing the inward probably end up redoing those uh, another time but we're gonna do the other mirror real quick all right this is how she looks in the daytime still got to get the side skirts on I still need to wrap the side skirts and then I still need to take off this window thing but I'm um, kind of bummed out right now she looks really good and all I got kind of lazy towards the rear bumper I'll show you guys in a second but so this wrap actually had some imperfections in it I could see it when I was um, laying it down I didn't realize it was gonna be this obvious if you look on the hood looks like just like a ketchup stain in a perfect line <sighs> That kind of sucks. Can't really see it from far, but. So it's on the fender, on the hood. Come around here. Got it on the door right here. I don't know if you can see it yet. Ketchup looking barbecue stain on this. And you can't rub it out. I tried. It looks like it's like under whatever it is. I don't know. Look at that one. That's so ugly. That uh, really bums me out. It's fine because about five feet away, I can't really see it. 
but yeah she looks really good in the somewhat sunlight probably be better if it was really sunny outside but you can see around here I got a little lazy just a little bit of that ugliness but kind of did that in the dark but the inlays on the rear bumper turned out somewhat good with it being a super thin film it's really hard to do inlays but turned out good got the purple little quick release things still deciding if I want to keep these tails on there makes it look a little more modified I kind of like it but I do have the OEMs so pop those in whenever like I said I still have to do the side skirts and uh, still have to do the rear wing I haven't gotten it yet but should be getting that soon it'll cover up these dots and then this uh, overstretch of the whole wing will cover up all that so don't worry about that over fenders are prime it's pretty much what people are gonna be looking at besides the ketchup stains like I said it looks lavender I really like it uh, I was going to do the lip in the same purple like I said in the last video but the material wasn't having it it's just really hard I decided to just keep it black need to get the side skirts wrapped all right we got the car out here in the rain I decided to take it last night to Steven's concert and it's got some flaws so right here you can see a little bit of extra vinyl sitting out I noticed right here some vinyl is peeling back and then the worst part of all bubbling right here so I can fix that with a piece right there but it'll be kind of ugly but this side's doing it too all right so I'm gonna pack up the side skirts we're gonna go wash them at the car wash I'm not in the mood gotta get the side skirts uh, washed <laughs> well we made it one minute down the road and my car's already overheating Well, she's overheating. Uh, I try to bleed her as much as possible, but I've came to the conclusion that the thermostat is stuck closed. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to get a thermostat and then pop that new one in. Kevin's going to come over and bring his official bleeder, and then we're going to bleed it. Um, but yeah, she's looking icy. My mom was making fun of the color of the car. She was saying it looked like a milky purple uh, in the nighttime, which I think is pretty cool. It's like two different colors. In the sunlight, it's like a super sparkly deep purple almost and then when it's raining it's like a milky purple all we're missing is the spoiler uh, wrapped and the side skirts I'm actually doing the side skirts right now I've been having a pain in the ass uh, doing this whole thing so I just wrapped this one if you guys remember me saying uh, how this side skirt wasn't being wrapped like the polyurethane had like some oil over it and it just wasn't sticking down so uh, I gave it a full wash and then did another wash in uh, alcohol and then I just tried to wrap it and it turned out eh alright um, the, edges, the edges are super easy to peel back and I think that's just because the poly is just some sort of plastic so this side skirt will probably uh, fail eventually but I do have enough to redo it but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to send this one and then rewrap it when I need to um, but I've decided to try to sand it down so that the area has a little bit more to grasp onto. So I've been sanding this as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to set up the tripod, I'm going to sand it more, and then I'm going to have a go at it, trying to wrap it again, and then hopefully it'll stick. But that's a lot better than the first time. The first time I wrapped it, there was bubbles just appearing, and there couldn't be anything. There's not any bubbles locking down. But with my extensive research in science, I believe that with a little bit of scratching with the sandpaper, it should lock down the vinyl a little bit better.
all right she's all done you can see a little bit of wrinkling right there um, yeah doing that sanding did nothing it still did not want to lay down nicely but she's on and hopefully she doesn't fall off anytime soon if anybody knows in the comments what is actually going wrong why can't I wrap polyurethane uh, let me know I don't understand if there's any tricks uh, to wrap this stuff let me know because I just want it to be a good wrap job it's gonna be a drift car anyways and this stuff's going to be destroyed so the side skirts are both done uh, for now I still have to mount them up and everything uh, I don't know how to mount them actually so I'm just I think I'm just gonna just drill holes and then do self tappers um, not anywhere where it's noticeable just like two right here and then they have these little mounting holes and then another one on that side but it's super late right now it's like 1 a.m. I gotta go to bed and I'm gonna wake up bright and early tomorrow morning and then slap these on go get the thermostat replace the thermostat bleed the coolant so let's flash forward to tomorrow morning and just like that it's morning I'm gonna start off on this side uh, because this side the side skirt is crunched in on the fender side so I have to figure out how to bolt that up I'm gonna use some washers and uh, the normal bolt and then I'm gonna self tapper in the side skirt but I'm gonna start on this side since it's a lot easier find the mounting points and then yeah gonna get the car jacked up got that side skirt on started pouring rain had to stop but that side's bolted down with uh, one right here one in the middle still got to do the back section which means I got to take off that rear wheel again but she's looking really good